think again video number 12 of isla subject cleanliness in islam cleanliness is of two types physical spiritual i shall be talking about physical cleanliness under physical cleanliness there are of two types number one is human body right from tip to toe second is environment ranging from our home office shops public places etc further in islamic literature there are two terms namely tahara which means purification number two is nazafa which means neatness and tidiness we muslims we are advised to be clean as well as neat and tidy now let us see what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has to tell about this in his glorious quran it is mentioned in surah bahra chapter 2 verse 222 where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells truly allah loves those who purify themselves further in surah tawbah chapter 9 verse 108 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells that allah loves those who keep themselves clean and pure Further, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse 6, O you who believe, whenever you approach for prayers, wash your face, wash your hands up to elbow and wipe over your head with wet hands and clean your feet up to ankles. And if you are in a state of Janaba, meaning ceremonial impurity, you have to wash your whole body. Further, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has emphasized in Surah Bahra chapter 2 verse 222, they ask you, O Muhammad وسلم, regarding menstruation, menses, say it is a hurt and a pollution. So let them keep away from their wives during menses and let them not approach them until they are clean. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has emphasized in Surah Araf chapter 7 verse 31, O children of Adam, wear your beautiful dresses at every time and in the place of prayer. Now let us see what Aap Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has to tell about this in his narrations. This mentioned in Sahih Muslim, book number 2, book of Tahara, Purification, Hadith number 432, where Aap Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has emphasized that cleanliness is half of Iman, faith. Further in the same book, book number 2, Hadith number 495, Aap Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said there are 5 acts of fitra. Number 1 is circumcision, khatna. Number 2 is shaving of pubic hair, the hairs of the aura area. Number three is clipping of nails. Number four is removing the hairs under the armpit. And number five is clipping of mushtas. Further, in the same book, book number two, hadith number 497, Absalah has emphasized that we are not supposed to grow it for more than 40 days, meaning we are supposed to attend it within 40 days. Further, uh, in Sunnah Abu Daud, book number one, book of Tahara, hadith number 26, Absalah has said that be aware of three acts which will allow others to curse you number one relieving yourself in the watering places number two is relieving in public places number three is relieving under the tree shades further absalom has emphasized in sahih muslim book number five book of zakat hadith number 2204 that even removing a harmful thing from the road from the path is a sadaha keeping in view the directives of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the verses and the advice of Absalom and you may also kindly appreciate that Islam is a religion of cleanliness and neatness so let us be clean and neat and also keep our environment neat and clean hope you will kindly ponder on this message Jazakallah thank you for your time